Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into an application called Routine, uh, which is a daily planner application, but it can function as an all-in-one application as well. And after seeing my comment section on um, the video I did on Superlist, where I talked about whether or not that can be used as a note-taking app, I saw that a few people actually wanted a to-do list application that could function as their note-taking app and that is what we are going to dive into in today's video whether or not routine can be that application for you so we are going to start off with the daily planner abilities uh, then we are going to go over note-taking then we will do pricing so let's just jump right into the first thing and that is how uh, this application can be used as a daily planner application. So you have uh, everything you would expect. You have an inbox, and I do love an inbox feature, especially for a daily planner application. So I can do uh, a task here. So let's just write test task, uh, and I can just create a task. I can also create and schedule it or create and postpone to this week, but I will just do um, a create task. I can also add it into one of my already existing notes, but let's just go ahead and create one task. So that means that this task is uh, inside of my calendar. I can choose to postpone it. I can choose to schedule it. So I could schedule it on um, Monday, October 28th. Uh, and it will be scheduled to that day. I can go into my agenda and I can uh, jump back and forward between my days. I can also add tasks here as well. Uh, but I mainly use the um, inbox to uh, create tasks. So let's just do test to task. Uh, and let's go ahead and actually schedule this to tomorrow. And we will do it like that and if I go into tomorrow you can see that it is right inside of here. I can yet again choose to um, change the schedule of this to uh, tomorrow, today, Monday, November 1st or I can write something. So when it comes to the task abilities and the ability to add and schedule task this uh, application works quite well. You also have a calendar. So let's say I wanted to add another task. Let's say I wanted to take out the trash. Uh, for those of you who have been following along for a while, that is my go-to task whenever I'm making these videos. Let's actually schedule this task to tomorrow uh, like this and just schedule it. Uh, and we can jump into my calendar and it will appear here and I can drag things so there are two ways I've mainly used this application when I've been playing around with it. Uh, the first is that I have uh, used the inbox for smaller tasks or things in general I want to capture. Then I can uh, put them into their allocated days depending on when I have to do things. And then I can actually um, start to... Uh, calendar block my days whenever I actually want to do that. I am not necessarily a big fan of calendar blocking. I know that it works. It just doesn't work too well for me. But um, that is mainly how I've been using the application. Uh, and I do a lot of capturing of things. That's mainly what I do in my to-do list applications. I capture a lot of things. And then once a week, I allocate some time to all of my tasks. Uh, and uh, most of the weeks, I have a lot of tasks since I've allocated them over a week. And this application does a great job at that. I can also take a look at all of my tasks. So unplanned task recurrences and upcoming tasks. So this test task right here is set to Monday. So I can go ahead and I can reschedule this. Let's say I wanted to reschedule this to uh, Wednesday, this Wednesday, press reschedule and uh, it will be rescheduled for Wednesday. Um, so a lot of cool things. Again, I can do this on Thursday uh, and uh, I can also do allocate for 30 minutes as soon as possible and it will do that 
for me as well. So it will put it uh, in Thursday at 8 o'clock, which is the time I actually start working. Um, so that is the basic aspect of the uh, of the task management. Now let's take a look at the notes. So here you can add notes and uh, uh, it feels really familiar if you've used something like Notion. Uh, it looks uh, really like the same block based interface, the same page interface uh, and this is actually blocks you get a lot of templates but you can also do um you can also uh, do backslash and you will get uh, a bunch of choices you can also uh have your tasks inside of here let's say i'm in a meeting and i just want to add a few tasks i can do that inside of here i can do headings or i can use markdown to make those headings so uh H1, uh, so you can do that as well. Markdown works inside of this application. I can open this in full screen uh, and remove this sidebar right here. I can also collapse uh, this and open this sidebar here as well. I like to have it collapsed like this. Um, when it comes to the organization inside of here, you have uh, a page and inside of that page you can have new pages so let's say I wanted to do test one inside of here this can be my test one page and I wanted to add my goals so I will be using uh, this goals um, template and what's fun about the tasks here is that you can actually uh, schedule tasks from within a document uh, so watch a PSG football game or scuba dive into underwater city. <laughs> These are actually fun ones, but let's say I wanted to schedule this to November the 1st. I could actually do that from within here. Uh, so that is a really cool feature. You can press export, but if you press export, uh, it only copies it to your uh, clipboard so you can paste it. It isn't a real exporting feature uh, as of right now. It just copies everything inside of your note and I can go ahead and I can like paste it in here instead. And it actually uh, copies it in Markdown. So if you use Markdown uh, or are changing to Markdown based application, uh, this will work, but it is a lot of manual uh, work. Uh, you can also have your meetings inside of here and review all the notes you've taken in meetings. I won't go too deep into how this works, um, but I'm mainly focusing on the pages. So as I said, we have um, we have a document and you can nest a document within another document and I can go ahead and I can nest more and more and more. Uh, as much as I want. So that is really, really good. And we can call this test uh, and do test three. And what I'm going to test out now is the feature that a lot of uh, applications struggle with. So if I now do test inside of this, uh, a lot of to-do list applications actually struggle with task um, or struggle with search inside of their um, note-taking abilities. That was the problem I had with Superlist. That was the problem I've had with a lot of other uh, note, uh, another, other to-do list applications when uh, I wanted to do note-taking inside of them. But this actually has a great search. So it finds test tree. Let's say I wanted to go for a walk. I need to turn off my caps lock, but... Uh, Let's do search. Actually, let's go into the inbox and then do search and search for go for a walk. Uh, and it will find go for a walk right here. Even though this is named um, test, it will find go for a walk. It will also find uh, previous, um, previous uh, tasks I've had inside of this application. I think this was the last time I did a video on it. Uh, that is where this task is from. 
uh, but uh, it actually allows me to do uh, that as well. And it has great search. I like this agenda view. I, in general, think the application is really, really good. I uh, tried it on the mobile app at first and I loved it. And I played around with the with the application here as well on my uh, Windows computer. If we take a look at the pricing, it has a monthly pricing of $10 each month or a yearly uh, pricing of $8.33 per month. It is currently uh, a waiting list, but you can skip that. Um, and believers are granted privileged access to the premium features as I've shown you with the views, for example. It is a little pricey for a, for a to-do list application, but this is much more. It is a daily planner and can even be a note-taking app. So it is a lot more and I think the pricing on this is really good given everything you get uh, from the application, everything from uh, great note-taking abilities, actually uh, some of the best note-taking abilities I've seen inside of a to-do list or daily planner application. So if you're looking for a simple to-do list or daily planner application that also can serve and double down as your note-taking app, Routine might actually be the best one for you. Anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching.